our next speaker <laughs> um, is one of my dearest friends. Such a dear friend, in fact, that he signed up to do this when I asked him just six hours ago. <laughs> he is my favorite artist that I know personally. Um, if any of you are on Instagram, please go check out Warlock Eat Crayons. It is choice. Back at Pecan 40, he shared his weird and wonderful storytelling skills with us for the first time, so I am so thrilled he's here again. Please give a warm welcome for Jesse Mully. Check one, two, check one, two, test, test, force a habit. <laughs> Calgary, heart of the new west. Oil capital of the prairies. White hats, beef, ranches, skyscrapers, and that god-awful turnoff on 10th Avenue Southwest on a Crowchild Trail near Sun Alta Station. <laughs> Just some of the things that make this place home. I was born and raised here all my life. A high school teacher once told me that Calgary was a dead city. We had no nightlife and our functions were limited. I didn't care because she gave me a beer or something on my report for the ramifications of cheese addiction in the French municipality of Besonville. I lied about that last part, but she did say it was a dead city. <laughs> but Calgary is where I grew up. And it's where I met the most important people in my life, Calvin. It wasn't until college I actually started going out with my friends to explore my city. Movies at the Globe, wrestling at the Dome, and sometimes just going out to Boston Pete's at 9 p.m. I live out in the wild near Cochrane, so I don't come out to here all that often. And I went to college for television production, and after graduating, I worked in the industry for a while. But I inevitably dropped out with factors like COVID being paramount to my departure. Now I work as a part-time carpenter, and although the opportunities have presented themselves to me to continue in my field, it would require me to move away, which I don't want to do. Now you must be wondering what all this crude art is on all these slides, and if you think I'm just crazy or if I wandered into the wrong presentation, no. <laughs> Keep in mind that I do have something very integral to the point of this story. I regularly hang out with my friends, and in almost at any film that we go to or if we're grabbing food, we always make inside jokes and these jokes inevitably find their way onto my computer being drawn as art. Nothing brings me more joy in the world than drawing something me and my friends talked about jokingly and having it sent to them over email for them to reply, what the hell, Jesse? <laughs> I started doing this stuff on Microsoft Paint with just a mouse. <laughs> Since then, I've evolved to using a drawing pad and then just recently, I bought a tablet with loads of different apps and programs to add to my disposal. I'm not gonna say that I'm a, an amazing artist, but I enjoy it. And hopefully in time I will get better. <laughs> Working as a carpenter and building sheds and decks part-time in this city pays pretty good, but it can be draining sometimes. I even became more disgruntled when my boss wouldn't let me paint customly the client's shed with Mario and Luigi parroting William Adolphe's Bogarros, Dante and Virgil. <laughs> Not long after, I found myself, with the help of my friend's encouragement, an incentive to start doing what I like. I would look forward to the days and nights where I could hang out with my friends and gain inspiration from them, acquire new ideas and find ways to make them laugh with my drawings. It became more than a hobby to me at this point. I even made my friends some t-shirts as gifts and now I'm in the process of making more with the sole intent of leaving them around Calgary on a coat hangers in odd places for people to find, like bizarre artifacts unearthed by some ungodly eldritch sorcerer. What will they think when they see Cookie Monster is the shark from Jaws eating Quint? <laughs> but recently, however, I had fallen into a tumble. Between working and life, I hadn't found a lot of time to venture out with my friends into the city I love, like I used to. Getting home from work, I would feel infinitely exhausted and end up wasting my time on YouTube instead of drawing or partaking in group hangouts downtown. There's an air hanging above Calgary right now watching family and friends deal with hardships, and dealing with those who have already departed because of those hardships has affected me greatly. I didn't want to become a recluse, but I found myself withdrawing more and more 
refusing to go out because of isolation. And I found that my drawings were starting to dip into that despair. The silly, goofy parodies and nonsensical doodles became macabre and dreadful. I yearned for horror more often than before, and a good chunk of my drawings I would destroy after completion. Sometimes I would spend an hour drawing only just to erase it and give up for the night. But things have to get better. <laughs> Not long ago, I decided rather than wait around, I was going to look up what festival was coming next here in Calgary. And it was MexiFest. Woo! Yeah. And it may not seem like it, but that event that day gave me like a booster shot of happiness. I was revitalized. I felt hopeful being around so many people <laughs> and enjoying the day. I felt like the city was starting to grow on me again. I don't want to say this excursion alone cured me of my gloomy brooding, but it helped me see that despite circumstances, people who make the effort will be the life of the city. And that the more I got out to experience these events, the more energized and dedicated I was starting to become. And I believe the city of Calgary had a butterfly effect on me. If shy and introverted me had not made those trips out to Calgary all so long ago with my friends, I wouldn't be drawing these horrible, goofy drawings like I am today. I would be, and I wouldn't be pursuing to be a better artist, and I wouldn't be going on my way to try new things. And Calgary isn't just the buildings or downtown, it's the events. It's the streets of people and group of friends hanging out after a long day's work, laughing and singing, whilst walking to the sounds of the rabid piano bashing in Thompson's Park. If I were to have moved, that path in life wouldn't exist for me now, and I know that. This is my meeting place. It's the hub for my adventures. I can say now that I'm well-rooted here, and I'm making plans with friends and colleagues to start pursuing the goals I had, making movies, documentaries, entering the film festivals here in Calgary, making art, improving on my technique. I want to do it all right here. Going out with my friends downtown and hearing their stories, coming back home to create has become a cyclical pleasure of mine. I get excited every time I drive downtown now, waiting and wondering just what humorous insanity awaits me. What new things can I concoct from whatever outing I'm about to take in? <laughs> now, what does this all have to do with Calgary? If I had made the choice to move and or not be as engaged with people, I wouldn't mind fi find myself having as fun as I am now, doing these kind of things, like Pikachu. I would never have thought of doing that. But I am now with the people that I've come to bond with most, and Calgary is my happy place. It gives me will and purpose to create, and I hope it does for you too. I love you, Jesse.